you will look for your own disappointment, you will not see them. You will look for things that have made life so miserable, you will not see them. Whatever I bless you from giving God, any morning sun has been removed. You will sleep with a new sun. You will wake up with a new sun. Your God shall do a new thing in your life. A new thing in your house. A new thing in your mind. It shall be a week of addition. It shall not be a week of deduction. Lift your hands and bless the name of God. Bless it. Crawling about creating barrier around your life. 
His time is over. 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 I don't want the force of familiar spirit anywhere in your life in your bed. Go out now. Yes, Lord. I see help coming. I'm not this gonna stop that help. I see, I see help. I see help coming.
restricted. God has given us liberty. And somehow we want to obey the move of the, of the Spirit of God in our lives. You will see some wonders in your life this week. Amen. And not for the restrictions. You may be seated. Thank you. I want to talk about for the time we have, I want to talk about my set time for divine appointment part two. Can I hear something very has what you just have? Say like a minute. Part two. If you want to know about the part one, go to Festus. Praise God. The first service we did part one. We will be repeating the messages that you have them in the online. Praise God. And we check the platform. You can see the messages splashed there for you to listen to. So you can have a comprehensive benefit of these messages. Now, I'm going to use a um, James reference Bible here. And uh, it's because it's very, very vital what we're talking about. Uh, I'm going to read from Psalm 102, verse 12. And then verse 13 in four or five translations, just simultaneously. KJV, Psalm 102, KJV says, The thou, O Lord, shall endure forever. Every God, no matter their strategy, and no matter how long your life are temporal. Only God is permanent. When God rises for you, He will inspire the enemies against you. In the new week that we are entering, God will rise for somebody else. Yeah. He will inspire the house against you, yeah. and you will take your joy. Yeah. Come, come now here. Yeah. And and thy remembrance unto all generations. I said in the morning, something that once a child of God remember that there's God like Jabez, God will rise in his remembrance. So it shall be remembrance for remembrance. When you remember that there's God and that there's help for you in God, even when there's no help for you in man, okay? Even when your father said that's the end of the road, your mother said that's the end of the road, the enemy said, Yes, I'm not being that's the end of the road. And you remember that there's God. He becomes the way maker. Are we here? And then we will manifest himself. Remember, Hannah said that's the end of the road for the Jews in Barsha. And he strategized every action that he holds and spent money and completed waiting for the day that Mordecai will be killed. And then he will no longer have anyone to threaten him in the kingdom. Anywhere they are considered you a threat, I declare, God of Mordecai shall rise with you. Amen. The Mordecai and the Esther remember that there's God. And they came to God every respect and every response that almost God. First and foremost, they went on three days fasting. No food, no water. I've asked you to fast on Wednesday. Anyhow, fast. Are we here? Fast. Any matter is urgent in your life. Fast. Wait on God. One day we will kill you. My body is shaking me. God knows you are waiting on him. But he's sensitive. Praise God. They decided and resolved. There was no limit on history. That showed that when they waited on God for three days and they had to cut food. Okay? So they didn't learn it from anyone. The fact that this problem only God will come into it. I don't know how long your problem has been. I don't know how strong your problem has been. But I feel in my heart that God that remembered Mordecai, that remembered Esther, and destroyed in your heart, that remember you in your heart. As long as they live, you will not be. You will not have peace. You will not make progress. Before the end of this week, you will hear a news. Yeah. That news is not for that amen is not born again. Yeah. We are not killers. We 
we are agents of God, the Redeemer. Mm. But paradigm, somebody has come as from I. Only that you must insist against the will of God, there will be a change. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. And that extent may bring the news. Amen. So any news you hear, yes, okay. God will pray and bless your name. Come over here. Yes, sir. And we saw here that God reversed it, and everything that Anna promoted and designed against Mordecai and the Jews. Yes. And then most wife and children became fit. Also, they might on assignment to terminate your legacy and your existence. God shall rise from your house. He shall rise from your man. He shall rise from your wife. He shall rise from your husband. He shall rise from your children. He shall rise from your career. So when you remember God, what will happen? God will remember you for reward. And Amplify say, but you, O oh Lord, are a throne forever. And the fame of your name endures to all generations. God will never, God will never lose fame in your life and your house. Come on, right? And the third one, NLT, New Living Translation, says, But you, O oh Lord, will see on your throne forever. Yeah. Are we here? Yes, we are. But you, O oh God, will do what? Sit on your throne. We sit on your throne forever. Yeah. Your faith will endure to every generation. Amen. You, will, you are serving God, your children will serve God. Amen. ESV. He said, But you, O oh Lord, are a truth forever. You are remembered throughout all generations. Now, we come to verse 13, KJV. Thou shall arise. Thou shall what? Arise. Thou shall what? Arise. I was sending a text to someone this morning that said, God will break his sentence over your life. God will break the silence over your desires. Amen. God will break the silence over every area you will be praying on. And it's like God is not hearing. Amen. So this week shall be week of answer to your prayers. Amen. So God is going to arise for you. Amen. You will arise to your career. Amen. You will arise to your ability. You will arise to your marriage. You will arise to your family. Someone said, God shall arise for me. God shall arise for me. Okay, that is KJV. And have mercy of us, Zion. And we will have time to spend this time. Go to part one. For the time to favor her, yet the same time is come. And with I, you will arrive and have mercy and loving kindness for Zion. What is Zion here? Yes, Zion is talking about the city of the Israelites. It talks about the covenant, people in the covenant. It talks about the dwelling place where God. Wells. So that's Zion. So God does not help the unbelievers. He only help them with basics. He give them life. He give them sight. He give them strength. Sometimes he give them food. He give them bread. He give them juice. He give them money. But God does not reveal His secrets and His supernatural power on them. Are we here? That's why no matter the power they exhibit, they will always be subject to the authority of God. So if you are in God, you are coming on that super influence for God this morning. Amen. Did I hear someone say again tonight? Amen. For it is time to have pity and compassion for her. Yes, the same time has come. The moment designated for her. That's how we find. The moment sits as I program for God for you has come. Yeah. New Living Translation says, you will arise and have mercy on Jerusalem. 
Now is the time to pity her. Now is the time you promise to help. Do I have a witness in the house? Yes, sir. Lift up your right hand. This is my week of divine help. This is my week of divine help. The time God promised me has come. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. Amen. Now, ESV said, You will arise and have pity on Zion. It is the time to favor her. The appointed time has come. The appointed time has come. These are prayer projects. I'll stop here now. Then I'll take you to Isaiah chapter 6. Verse 1, Isaiah chapter 6. Let's go there if you're there. Oh, yeah. Sister. Since not obscene. As I said, Yes, sir. Arise, shine, for the light is. Now, let me read it in a way that you can see the meaning. Arise, comma. Can you respond? Yeah, that's what happened to the Bible. It's like literature. It doesn't have any meaning. You are hearing me. Arise! Shine! Shine is to change your attitude and your condition. So, providing uh, maybe you were thinking, maybe you were angry, maybe you were offended, what do you do? You smile. smile. You change your countenance. You know, in Psalm, you say, God is the one that the, the service is saying, Thou shall arise, thou shall arise. But this one, Isaiah is saying, You rise up, start shining. The one that starts shining means start reigning. And the one that starts reigning means start ruling. So that is an appointment. Arise and take your appointment. Arise and enter your dominion. Arise and take charge. Arise and be in control. Arise and begin to command everything around you. He says, Shine. Shine. What is the rest after Shine? For the light is come. That is the restoration. Yes, sir. Where have the light come? I don't know. When your light disappears, darkness takes over. Great men who have been under siege of witchcraft, mm. under siege of wickedness. Mm. But when your light comes, you will look for things that are held you and you will not see them. Yes, sir. You look for the load you are carrying and you will not see them. Yeah, you become free in your heart, free in your life, free everywhere. And you will see yourself doing the things that you have never done. He said, Arise and shine, for the light is come. Who is the light? Christ. It's a prophecy of the coming Messiah. Mm. That's why I said in John 1 4, in him was life, and the life became the light of men, and the light shined in the darkness. So if you have received Christ, Christ is in you. He said, Rise up. Start shining when you have been defeated. For your light has come, your authority has come, your power is on. Light is authority over darkness. Mm. People that carry light cannot be hidden. Yes, sir. You can't stop them. You can't stop them. Because you can't stop light. As long as light cannot be stopped by darkness, no demon and agent of darkness has authority to stop your light. Yes, the boy has said to someone today, and they have declared to someone today, this way is your week of sunshine. You shall rise and shine. You shall rise, you shall shine. It says, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Which means, 
the strength and the values of God is risen upon you. Amen. Go to verse 2. Because those are just few which I want to take. Verse 2. For behold, let me see this. Let me see this. Are you with me? Yes, sir. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. But there will be an exception on the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we here? Yes, sir. There's a nature you are carrying that cannot be supposed by COVID-19. Mm -hmm. I was watching the news recently and I noticed that the, the business is fading away. Yes, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, so they are entering into other things. The fair price was okay, hit. The business is collapsed. If the church had been open in April, the business would have died around April. Praise God. I tell you this. So I know because one voice for one man of God is able to destroy one thousand feet that have been sold. Check the television, check the Facebook. Everybody is speaking healing, everybody is speaking dominion, everybody is speaking faith. But that one is telling you, you don't come here, man. You don't know this one. You don't know this one. You don't know this one. Yeah. But look at the scripture. For behold, the darkness, the darkness is talking about the personality. It's not talking about just a situation. It's talking about a personality representing the devil. Are we here? The darkness shall cover the earth. It's in America, it's in the UK, it's in Europe, it's in Russia, it's everywhere. Is ruling everywhere, and he said, "And gross darkness, the people, the the gross darkness, the people." Babylon. So, what is the opposite of the darkness? The law. And who is law? The light. Who is the light? The light. So, when God is revealed, the devil will be. Because light and darkness does not fight. Every child of God is a light. It's a light carrier. You are so dangerous to darkness. Darkness is the devil and every intention so the, the devil, demons, witchcraft, marriage spirit, whatever you call them. That's why. So civilized nations are so wise. They are licensed preachers to preach what they are licensed to preach. And they call them theologians who are trained to reveal solution to humanity. Verse 2 is there for telling you why you to rise. He said, the reign of darkness over you is over. The threat of the enemy over your house is over. Amen. Are we here? Look at it. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Can COVID attack God? Answer. Now, the Bible says, to them that receive him, even to them that believe his name, even to them that receive him, get the power to become his sons. Even to them that believe in his name, the name that talks about the world. So he said, I see darkness, but I see the appearance of the Lord, who is the solution to darkness. In the days of Nero, this darkness have been dead. Something like COVID have been dead. They were blind, they were paused, all of them were beaten. And the Bible said, three nights there was light in Goshen, and there was darkness in Egypt. Are we here? I am saying to somebody here today. You are living here with an anointing of reception. Amen. The light of God is upon your house. Amen. God is bringing a reception upon your marriage, Amen. upon your children, upon your business, upon your finances. There's a divine reception of God. There's a light of God that I'm not upon you. And therefore today, and this way, I see your light is shining for.
We're running up now. Verse 3. Everyone. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Someone say divine attraction. Divine attraction. When your light shines, men will be, will be attracted. First of all, they will notice you. They will be attracted to you and they will follow you. Not just to the kings, not to men. Okay? Sometimes I tell them in finance with the um, welfare office. This one in there, this one in there. So, so I can go here, boss. Praise God. If everybody in your house need help, who will help each other? Sometimes we trust God for help us to help us to help. Come on, here. No matter your level, you need help. So when God brings help your way, you will call it to hell. People shouldn't just stay at the same level from year to year. I see you having a connection to kings. I see you be the solution to your generations. I see you be the solution to your house. In the name of Jesus, right? And verse 4 says, Lift up thy eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from afar, and thy daughters shall be lost at thy side. So it's going to be a week of recognition, a week of restoration, a week of okay, week of recovery, a week of restoration, and a week of establishment. Are we here? How many things? Recognition, recovery, restoration. And establishment. Yes. It's announcement. Look, look around. Which place? This way. If you look to the left, you see her. You look to the right, you see her. You look to the front, you see her. Why? Because life has come upon you. Who is the life? Jesus has come to take his place. Christ in me, the hope of glory. So, are we here? I want to say to you today that your appointment with God is here. And every desire you have we receive manifestation and prophetically the of God on your head that's an appointment of God on your neck that's an appointment of God on your mind that's an appointment of God on your business when you have been covered and clouded you shall be noticed when you have been so red you shall come from like Joseph you will come out of your prison you shall read those who came out of prison to read you are coming out of your prison and you shall read you are coming out of your sickness and you shall read Me. The Isaiah 58 says that's a condition for this. And the first service I get a condition from Psalm 68, Psalm 16, verse 8. Men that receive a coming for God are men that set God before them. But the second version and the higher version of it is that those that delight themselves in the Lord will attract God. Isaiah 58 and verse 14. Thou shalt delight thyself in the Lord. And what will happen to you? He shall make you to ride on the high places of the earth. He shall make you to ride on the high places of the earth. Look at that. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord. I don't know your opinion about God. I don't know how long you're going to make up your mind to serve God. If God becomes serving, if it's not God, go and serve whatever you think you can serve. But be happy in God. You try in between opinions, so it's small. Take joy to serve the Lord. Then you shall not delight thyself in the Lord. And that will cause thee to do what? Who will cause thee? God, when you delight. God will promote you. He will come into you. I will cause you to ride on the high places. 
upon the high places of the earth. And look at the second thing he's going to talk. He said, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. I want to stop there. They killed me. Genesis 27, verse 27. Let me show you the heritage of Jacob thy father. What is the heritage of Jacob? It is the blessings of Jacob from Isaac. And now we feed thee with the blessings of Jacob. That's what we're going to end. To right to our feet. Here is the heritage of Jacob. Jacob is our grandfather of faith. Rise up wherever you are. If you can look at the scripture, but you have to look at the scripture and you have to pray with it today and this week. And he came near and kissed him. This shall be your week of encounter. Amen. Who kissed each other here? Isaac. Isaac kissed Jacob. All right. Why? Look at it. And he smelled the smell of his raiment. And blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is at the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. You know, when there's some people that when you near them, they don't, they don't even want to look at their face. Go, go, go. Follow this. First and foremost, he has eaten food. I won't talk about it today. He has eaten good food. And the food was so fresh. And the soul was so pleased. And he said, Come nearer. Come nearer. Can I say something to someone here? The barrier between you and God, whether it's woman or in Alit or power. Was whatever is standing between you and God. Beginning from now, they shall be ruled by. Yeah. And the smell, the smell of his raiment, you will smell well before King. Yeah. As it was a king, you will smell well before I before kings. Yeah. Your name shall smell well before kings. When they make sure your name, they shall be divine and make sure they shall be divine and proper. I said to you, and he said to you, see the smell of my soul is like the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. If you smell well, your business has been well. If you smell well, your house has been well. If you smell well, your money has been well. When I get some passing by your territory, you just smell well. When they are passing by your territory, you just smell well. Cause the 
thee, everyone that shall cause thee. Amen. And blessed be he that blessed thee. Amen. This is the heritage of Jacob. It's pronounced upon your life. Amen. It's pronounced upon your family. Amen. It's pronounced upon your marriage. Amen. It's pronounced upon your destiny. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, before I take my seat, if you were not in this first service, and then you have not also taken uh, this biblical marriage concept as a family, I'd like you to rise to your feet and come up. Let me say here, if you're married, rise to your feet. Your mind is first service. Come for to the altar. If you're married, come to the water. 